Doers, it's so nice to see you again. Here at my company, as you always know the name, Stealthy Wood, we're great at closing deals. We love nurturing opportunities all the way from small leads into fully grown business deals. Unfortunately, deals don't always work out. The successes and failures are referred to as wins and losses. Thanks to Odoo CRM, we can track our wins and our losses better and more easily than ever before. Even though losing deals is tough, Tracking why they were lost is extremely important. This information will help us avoid similar losses in the future, and it also improves our overall selling strategy moving forward. Now let's see how easy it is to track wins and losses in Odoo. So here we are on our CRM dashboard. As usual, I see all of the opportunities that are currently assigned to me, but let's open an opportunity. So if I click on, let's say this one, inside of the proposition stage, let's say this customer has finally accepted our offer, we wore them down. They'd like to close the deal. Fantastic. That is a win. So we can go ahead and mark it as one. And if I just click there, it's that easy. And now this opportunity has a shiny new banner. And it's been moved to the one stage, as we can see up here. Now, I could still edit the opportunity at any time, even after it has been marked as one. But I don't really want to save anything like that. So let's go back over here to our pipeline. If we go back over onto the dashboard, we can see our opportunity is still inside of the one stage of our pipeline. I could have also clicked and dragged the opportunity into the one stage from the Kanban view, and it would have had the same effect. If for some reason I didn't mean to mark this opportunity as one, I can also just move it back to the previous stage. So if we do it like this, and see, it's that easy. Now, as we can see, it no longer has the one banner. but now, I mentioned before, sometimes deals don't work out. That's just part of doing business. Maybe this customer backed out of a deal for one reason or another. It's not your fault. If we click, let's say, lost, when I mark this opportunity as lost, a pop-up appears. Here, we'll enter a reason for the loss from a drop-down menu of pre-configured reasons. And you can pretty much select anything here, or I can also create a new reason directly from here simply by typing in the reason and then clicking the create button. Now, I'm going to, you know, type turnaround time was too long. They're impatient and that's fine. Now I can edit this loss reason by clicking this pop-up window if we see it over here. So if you can't do this, you know, talk to your administrator. Anyways, let's go back to our opportunity and mark it as lost. I can also configure all of my opportunities loss reasons by going directly into configurations, lost reasons. Now, we're just gonna cancel this. Um, you, need to, you do need certain access rights in order to create or configure lost reasons. And in order to do so, you're going to pretty much need to select these types of options. Now, I can choose to add a note anywhere within some of these things, like if you wanna provide additional details about a particular loss, and then you're also able to submit it. Now we'll see a red loss banner on this opportunity. A very sad, but at least, you know, we'll know why and we'll learn from this in the future. So we're gonna go back over to the CRM dashboard. Now, if we hop back to our main dashboard, we'll notice that the newly lost opportunity is nowhere to be found. That's because Odoo automatically archives all lost opportunities, hiding them from your pipeline, keeping things a little bit more tidy. If we wanna find them, we can simply apply the lost filter. And through this, the lost opportunities appear in the same stage they were in when they were lost. This gives you more useful information as to when and why we lose some of these deals. Now, if we want to analyze all of our company's losses at once, Odoo makes it super easy to do that with the reporting feature. Now to do so, we're going to go into reporting and we're going to click on the dashboard and we're going to delete the creation date filter and we're going to add the loss filter and let's do a bar chart here just because they look nice now once they're here we could see a nice visual summary of our losses over time right now we're looking at the number of losses per week we could group this information by a multitude of things to analyze our sales performance for example let's group by custom group lost reason and apply we could group by this type of loss reason to see an overview of why we've lost some of these deals. 
We could also do this by other types of filters, you know, such as the stages. And if we group by a stage, we get to see where in our pipeline the sales team loses deals. Now we could do both of them at the same time too, as you can see now. We can also view graphs for many different measurements. Let's say we want to see the expected revenue of our losses over time. If we uncheck everything in group by, and this time we go ahead and we select measures and expected revenue, because we like to keep track of revenue, and a line chart, we could do it just like that. And isn't that easy? Now, by accurately and efficiently tracking all of our wins and losses over time, we'll learn exactly where and how we can improve and thereby fostering the growth of our business. That's all for now, Odoers. And remember, it's Odoo, not Odon't.